It's Chris Watkin here and I'm with Daniel McPeak who is the boss man of Nest Seekers uh, who are our self-employed estate agency model based in London but originally from America and yeah. your firm is very famous for Million Dollar Beach House and other uh, such amazing TV programs. What makes Nest Seekers so different for self-employed estate agents? Talk to me then. <laughs> So thanks for having me. Nest Seekers is a real estate in, in company that is based on selling luxury properties. Doesn't mean that we don't deal with the middle of the market, but we're experts at selling high end real so estate. Upper quartile properties. So basically you're in so really your only competitor when it comes to the self-employed model is would be the final country model. Possibly, yeah. yeah. So we see ourselves slightly different to how the model's all out there at the moment. Um, we, we believe that we should be lovers, not fighters. We believe in what we've transported over from the American model is the co-brokerage part of it. So I've been dealing with this model for about five years. You can't copy and paste an American model and bring it 4,000 miles across the Atlantic. Right? It, doesn't, it gets lost in translation. You have to have it slightly different, but you can pick up the better parts of it. And one of the things that you know, we've seen with estate agency in the UK, and it's the same as with solicitors and lawyers, because there's people attached to it, it's emotional, agents get a bad rap. Now maybe some of them get a bad rap because they're no good, but this whole soul agency tying someone in to a 14, 15, 16 week period, you know, maybe being overvaluing at the beginning to get it on, and then it goes all the way down to the junior in the office dealing with it, until the person, the vendor, isn't getting no calls back. I see that being very old fashioned. Okay, that, that kind of comes, that whiffs a little bit of yesterday. Um, state agency isn't broken in the UK. Uh, it works, transactions happen. It's a bit outdated, it's a bit stout, and is it delivering the right service that people want? So at Nestle, because you know, we look at things differently. We do our marketing. We're on 145 portals globally, and once you start pushing above 3 million, your buyers are international. When they can, they're in planes flying around. But we also talk about bringing in other brokers. We believe very much that the dawn of the buying agent is upon us. So we explain our fee to vendors, and we tell them, look, we're going to charge you 3% to sell your house, but we're going to speak to five or six of the other good agents in the high street. You know, we're not going to run from them. Because them good agents, like us, will tend to have four or five hot buyers in their phone. They're the guys, they leave the valuation, they're phoning up, Chris, I've just seen this house, get the afternoon off work, you've got to see it, right, it's for you. And they come round, and this is how most properties sell. So instead in of... The, have, in, the posh, in the prime bits. In the prime bit, but we're also finding this coming down to like half a million now as well. You know, we're, this is what we're pushing through. We believe it's starting to work at every price level. So you're saying that your self-employed model gets massive fees but uses the power of referral and turns estate agents who are seller's agents into buyer's agents? So we, yeah, share of we, would, yeah, we, would, we would speak to other agents that are good, that we know we have buyers, because we want to open the marketing up for the vendor. Okay? We don't want it restricted. It's just us. You know, we've spoke about maybe people aren't on databases, maybe they don't see it. It's not just us. We're going to bring in the other guys as You're well. You're bringing all the other agents for black books in. Of course you are. And that that's better for the vendor. Now, it takes away the fear, which the agents have at the moment. They can't share their fees because they, uh, their fees are so low, and we can go into why they, their fees are so low. It's a big problem with UK industry. To simply put it, and I, I say it all the time, a lot of over agents pitch a, a fee and not service because they struggle to see the service that they offer. You know, that, so we're trying to change that and a lot of agents also sometimes perhaps feel that sellers know how the market works. You, know, you put it on right move and then you wait. Why isn't there a list of people wanting to buy my house? It's fantastic. Look at our great kitchen. Look at the bathroom. You know, the question agents get asked all the time, how many people have you got for it? Like they're going to say loads. Well, if they had loads of buyers, Everything after the vow wouldn't need to be there. There wouldn't need to be portals, yeah. wouldn't need to be marketing. We don't sell houses, okay? Agents think they sell houses. Houses get bought. We market houses. That's what an agent does. So you need to have massive marketing available to the vendor in every way. Gone, unfortunately, 
for the guys out there that used to do this are the days of taking a property to market and waiting. Okay, that's out of date. So at Nest Seekers, we encourage our agents to be bold. We encourage them to talk about marketing. We encourage them to tell the vendors how much money they're going to make you know, out of it. It's very important. We learned this from the TV shows. Once we started putting the banners at the bottom with the commissions that was made, there was higher ratings, higher hits. If I'm going to sell your house, Chris, and that there's me and there's Mary, and Mary's on 25 grand a year basic, so her mall's your rent's covered, and she makes 10%. Let's say you're selling at a million. For argument's sake, the fee's the same. It's 2%. So she's going to make 10K for her company and te keep 2K. And there's another self-employed model agent out there. You know They're going to sell the property for you. They're on no basic, so their mortgage or rent isn't covered. But they're going to start by keeping 50%, for argument's sake, of what they make. Company makes 10. They keep 5. Who's going to work harder for you to sell your property? Who would you want going to bat for you? Do you want, and I hate to say this, but I'm going to, and I've pondered whether I should. Do you want someone selling your biggest asset who's pigeonholed theirself in a salary of 40 to 50k a year? Is that the kind of mindset you want when it comes to marketing your property? That's what we're looking to change. And it's not for nest seekers to change it. Like, you know, we don't want to be pioneers. Americans are very aware pioneers get shot in the face. For us, for the industry to move forward, all the other models that are doing similar, self-employed, personality driven, they all need to succeed. One, because people hop about, because they just do anyway. And two, if they all succeed, the model succeeds. And if the model succeeds, the industry moves forward. And that's what we're looking to do with our agents at Nest Seekers. How do people contact you? Uh, email address, but it's, it's tough. Barrier to entry, I will. I, tell you, I, I ignore the first four emails anyone usually sends me. So if they can't hassle me, how are they going to hassle a vendor? <laughs> how are they going to get through? They then speak to me or my business partner, Solly. We're both different guys. Um, we then have a handbrake, 24 hour gap, where then the other one will speak to them to make sure we've not messed anything, make sure they're great. Reason is, Chris, as well, because of the TV shows, we do get quite a few people reaching out. Now, there's, there's a lot of transferable skills. You know, the people can come across and do it and be transferred in, but we're not a training school. You know, we're, we're set up to mentor the people that come through so they can hit us out by email. And if they're persistent and they're showing, we're very happy to talk to them. And we will give everyone that's reasonable, you know, a, a fair hit. And you can tell by a conversation, one of the questions I ask them, and this is how I separate them straight away, is, look, and I'll, I'll do it to you, let's, let's pretend it's you. You get an update on your phone, Apple update. Right? Do you update it straight away or do you wait? It's an auto update. <laughs> That's even clever. So the reason I ask this is if you don't update it straight away, if you're afraid or you're scared, tomorrow the guy or girl that's updated it is 24 hours ahead of you. Yeah. In a week, if you haven't done it, they're seven days ahead of you. Okay. So it was a simple thing that I just like to hear. And then I ask him if you've got an Apple phone, what do you use to search the internet? And if they say Google, I know they've fought outside, they've had to download it, they're not being restricted. But so it's a simple things, but just it's what we like just to see with their mindsets. Agency and what we're doing is about mindset. We are pushing fees up. Okay, we're getting known now for achieving high fees. We we've cracked London. You know, we've we've got properties sold in London now. We're moving forward. We're now in Manchester. You know, we was just in Manchester evening news, rock stars of real estate. You know, so we believe that we can, with the model, move this forward. Thank you for your time today, Daniel. I just want to say for the record that um, I've not been paid to do this video. It's just that Daniel came up and we've been doing some great stuff on other topics. And I said, is there anything I can do for you? And um, he said, could we just do a little video on this? Um, I think all of the self-employed models are, are great. Uh, and, you know, it's important that I mention stuff like EXP, Keller Williams, Remax, Benjamin Stevens. But this is your time to shine in the in the limelight. So well done, and do do check Daniel out and Nessie because thanks very much for your time today. Chris, thank you.